Good day everyone, I am Engineer Mark, Technical Support Engineer from Midas IT Philippines. To start this year's webinar with Midas, unlike the usual webinar that we conduct, for today I would like to review some of the most important development of Midas Gen software from 2016 up to January 2021, which benefited most of our fellow Filipino engineers, so that if you would like to ask some of the features or capabilities, you will now know that these features that I will tackle today is now already available in your one-stop solution for building and general structures. So for our overview, computers or any other advanced computing machine has been part of the most or most of the structural engineers today, especially in this era because some of the structures that we design or construct, especially if it is a uh, complex structures, it requires more advanced analysis type that it would be impossible to do hand-by-hand -hand calculations. Again, for today, I will be discussing some of the important developments of MIDAS, which helps us turn the impossible to possible. What I mean is that we can now do this type of design, this type of analysis using your one-stop solution, which is Midas Gen. So for our objective, uh, this webinar actually aims to highlight the importance of the development done in Midas Gen and Design Plus from 2016 up to 2021, which is deemed to be highly beneficial for the structural engineers here in the Philippines in making the design sequence more efficient, more accurate, and of course, very uh, easy to do. So for our scope, I will be focusing more on some of the highlights of Midas Gen and Midas Design Plus software and other family software updates will not be discussed. The detailed process on how to implement these updates will not also be discussed, but you may ask or you may email philippines at midasit.com or phinquiry at midasit.com to request for some materials on how to implement this uh, advancement or these features that I will be discussing for today. So our agenda is first, I will tackle the improvement of the design features and next is the advancement in the analysis capabilities and of course we have to know what are the updates in the GUI and lastly the module enhancement of Midas Design Plus. So to begin with the improvement of the design features, so first uh, here in the release of Midas Gen 2016 version 1.1 Improvement in RC column design or checking from Midas Gen on this version, the shear strength or the shear checking design of the, the middle of the member of the column is now available. This is very useful, especially when we are designing our structure for a special seismic provision. It will, uh, in this version also, it is included that the torsion can be designed or checked as per ACI 318-11 or dash 08. And of course, the limiting minimum section size, especially when designing uh, structures in conformance with the seismic provision, uh, based on the NSCP 2010, it states that in section 421.6.1.1, that the shortest cross-sectional dimension measured on a straight line passing through the geometric centroid shall not be less than 300 millimeters except for building or structure regulated by NSCP Volume 3 or Housing Code NBP 220. So this is actually an option. If you want to consider the limiting minimum section size, so you have to check the consider minimum section size limit. So if you don't want to apply this limiting minimum section size, of course, you must uncheck these different uh, elements for the consider minimum section size limits. So for the 
by just Gen 2017 1.1 release. So previously, shear strength checking was performed based on shear strength or shear reinforcement ratio, but now it is based on shear strength. So updating based on the design code and the result uh, that you will get will be based on the updated design code like the ACI 318-11. So from 2019, 2.1 version, so in the seismic design, the amplification factor or A2 can be separately applied to calculate the shear force of the column and beam. This is uh, very uh, important, especially when we are designing for shear. So if you want to apply a different factor or amplification factor for beam and column, the, this feature or this release of Midas Gen is now available. The Midas Gen 2019 version 2.1. And of course, if you are still considering SMRF, aside from the consideration of SMRF on the typical floor levels, an option to consider it on the roof level is also available. So as you can see in the Midas Gen 2019 version 2.1 release, the consideration of strong column weak beam on last floor can be checked or unchecked, meaning it is an option for the designer if you want to consider these uh, parameters. Added options like the update rebar option for slabs or wall are now considered in the plate elements for better checking of the components. So as you can see, if you want to check your slabs or your wall, you can now easily done it by updating the rebar option or you can update it the rebar based on element or based on the subdomain improvements also on the shear strength in the special moment frame per ACI at the mid section is now also being considered in this release of Midas Gen the Midas Gen 2020B 1.1. So as you can see, you can now consider the shear or the concrete shear in the midsection of your B or of your columns. So those are some of the advancement in the design capabilities. And now I think you should agree or I think you would agree that the design is useless if we don't apply or we don't have the advanced analysis capabilities of this software. So here, now I will discuss some of the advancement in the analysis capabilities made in the Midas Gen software. So, so to begin with, Soil structure inter interaction or SSI is very important for us to verify or check the real behavior of our structure. In the version 2016 1.1, some improvements on the soil pressure was added, like the in case of inclined mat foundation, projection area can be considered. In the previous version of the lower or the lower version of MIDA software, soil pressure was identically calculated for inclined foundation when the soil spring was assigned along with global coordinate system. So in the new version, modulus of subgrade values can be checked and modified in surface spring support table for compression only type spring. So material nonlinear analysis with beam elements was also added in the 2016 2.1 version. And of course, isolators. So if you are designing buildings with isolator, like the triple friction pendulum isolator, it is now being implemented uh, starting 2016 version 2.1 of MIDAS. Different hysteresis model was also added for advanced analysis, like the Takeda slip model, we also have the axial stiffness model. Uh, this is actually for axial deformation and independent column. 
And of course, the steel buckling model, which is used for analyzing inelastic buckling or brace frame structure. Nonlinear behavior of the slabs can now also be analyzed using inelastic time history analysis of plate elements, which was released on the 2017 version 2.1 of Midas Gen software. And in the last year's webinar, we also made a hands-on training on the crack section analysis of slab, which uh, now, starting 2018 version 1.1, this crack section analysis of slab as per ACI provision can now be considered. So you can now evaluate the stiffness of slab by crack section analysis and supply the deformed shape and report for long-term deflection as per the said code, uh, ACI. So calculations of performance point as per FEMA 440 in pushover analysis was also added in 2018 version 1.1 and the time history analysis of the model with seismic control devices so if you again if you are designing your structure having these dumpers or these isolators you can now perform time history analysis uh, having these seismic control devices degradation effect of different plastic strength or I mean the elastic strengths in tension and compression can now be described also using concrete damage plasticity model which is available in the 2018 version 1.1 of MIDAS. So construction stage analysis considering material nonlinear uh, or material nonlinearity is also available so this actually is some of the advanced analysis type that you can do or if you are analyzing your structure most of those advanced analysis type are already available in MIDAS so this one is actually very important so if we want to simulate our structure on different uh, earthquake so you can actually perform or you can actually add artificial earthquake in performing your dynamic analysis so you can add artificial earthquake or using this generation function that you can do into your model so improvement of post processing in time history analysis result so uh, like the average and uh, envelope load case for time history load case it is now generated in the table so 2010 2019 version 1.1 now has the viscoelastic dumper tokai response control dumper manufactured by sumitomo rico company limited and now it is being added to by this gen 2019 version 1.1 so again, if you are designing this uh, or uh, designing advanced structure or advanced uh, performing advanced analysis having these different advanced materials to be added into your structure like the dumpers, the isolators, most of those uh, uh, properties can now be used especially when analyzing and designing our structure. So performing pushover analysis with nonlinear elastic links like compression only or tension only can now be taken into account using the Midas Gen 2019 version 1.1. And the push overload pattern using inertia force in response spectrum analysis can now also be considered on the same version. So uh, in this version, Midas Gen 2020 version 1.1, uh, definition of hinge curve and yield strength depending on actual force in FEMA, especially for pushover analysis, uh, can now or is now available in this version.
and again aside from adding advanced feature it is also very important that the analysis time or the analysis speed in performing different advanced analysis is greatly reduced so starting my gen 2020 version 2.1 drastically we reduce the the analysis speed for especially when performing an elastic time history analysis as you can see we can save up to 58 or 56 percent of the time from the previous version partial safety factors to the fiber model for pushover analysis is now being implemented on 2020 version 2.1 of Midas Gen also. So you can now apply these partial safety factors uh, when you are doing a fiber model for pushover analysis and you can now generate the MC curve for the design of non-dissipative elements. So the Midas Gen 2021, our latest version, release 1.1, uh, the the, the banded length of pretension beam can now be added. So, when we are designing our structure for pre-stress pre or pretension, so we can now consider a more realistic and conservative design of our pre-stress elements or members. So, the next is the GUI. So, aside from having the perfect design and analysis tool, it is also very important that after you run the software, it is easy to interpret and visualize. So now, I will tackle the improvement made from 2016 up to 2021 for the GUI of MIDA software. So to begin with, starting 2016 version 2.1 release, it has been known that MIDA has this capability to produce high quality results like this bone mices and uh, maximum shear stress contour. So it is now available in Midas since 2016 version 2.1. And of course, real displacement caused by stage construction on steel and precast concrete members can now also be checked or verified using the initial tangent displacement option for erected structures. Implementation of BIM software like the Revit 2017 is also now available in the 2017 release 2.1 version of MIDA software. And of course, SSI or the soil structure interaction is also being improved since import and export of MIDA's results for GTX is now available from 2018 version of the MIDAS. So for this release, actually if you are designing flat slab and the like structure, drop panel and column capital can now be used by our fellow Filipino engineers. So you can now use this, especially when you are doing flat slab or other type of structure that the the drop panel or column capital may be required. So again, the BIM softwares are available in MyDAS like this 2018 repeat interface. So for this release, it is very tedious actually to model transmission tower, but from 2018 version 2.1 of MIDAS, structure wizards of transmission towers can now be done with ease from the software. So as you can see, MIDAS has these different wizards, but from the, the update from, or using this version, you can now model, analyze, and design your tower structure. Actually, we have conducted before. Uh, uh, transmission tower design, modeling and design using MIDAS Gen which we conducted here in our uh, Makati office. So if you would like to request a copy, you may contact us 
at phinquiry at midasit.com or philippines at midasit.com. So, energy results graph from isolators and vibration control device in nonlinear time history analysis is also now available. So, if you would like to view or display per value or per percentage, you can now also done that in the software. And aside from that, the text result for each energy ratio can be also created though so you can easily verify using these text results and again as i have said improvement for ssi so this actually the soil structure interaction using the 3d uh, geotechnical analysis software or a family software of midas which is gts nx and midas gen uh, it uh, it it is now considering the multilinear type elastic spring or link that you can do here in the 2019 version 2.1. So as you can see, if you want to analyze your structure having the or or having the 3D geotechnical software with you. So you can easily perform a soil structure interaction if you integrate the Midas gen into the GTS and X. So aside from Revit, if you are using Tecla structure, uh, this BIM software can now be interoperated or integrated with Midas gen software it is it is now available actually since 2018 version 2.1 of the software and as we all know seismic effect on the tanks is very important uh, to consider in our design that's why midas gen introduced or include the sloshing effect in its 2019 version of midas so as you can see uh, if we use this tank wizard so you can now simulate or add the mass adding or the sloshing of the tank for the tank. So if you would like to request a manual on how to perform or how to do this, again, let me stress you can uh, email us at phinquiry at midasit.com or page or philippines at midasit.com. So for this release 2019, there are instances that we may need to have a drop panel in our foundation depending on the type of soil. So Midas Gen 2019 version 2.1 allows us to model the drop panel in our foundation. Revit 2019 interoperability with Midas is again implemented. So what I want to stress with this is that uh, the most common BIM software that we are currently using in our design can now be uh, imported or interoperated or integrated using your Midas Gen software. So you don't need to worry if, my, if your Midas Gen software has this capability if you want to uh, export into other BIM software for detailing purposes or for creating plans or alike so Midas Gen has this capability to integrate with other BIM software so now a more detailed results or a graphic report for column design can now be experienced on the release of 2020 version 1.1 And the more detailed result of time history analysis as well is now available in the 2.1 version again of Midas software. So if you would like now to view 
or to check the reaction based on the pushover analysis that you have done, you can now easily extract those results using tables uh, in this version, the 2022.1. So each step, so you can create actually a reaction table for each step. So if you if you want to verify the reaction based on the pushover analysis that you have done onto your structure. So also we can now filter elements and general links for the output of inelastic time history analysis. So filtering of results. So most of the actually this process or this uh, the these features like the filtering of results or or selecting the best results especially when you have performed the analysis is very important in order for us to to easily view what we really need after we have performed our analysis so when doing analysis or advanced analysis type like the fiber analysis the result summary table of fiber beam or wall for an elastic hinge is now also available in this release of the software. So again, Revit 2020 is now being made possible in Midas Gen 2020 version 2.1. And now for the latest version, the 2021 version 1.1, 1 .1, uh, the beam end offset by each direction can now be done. So as you can see, if you are uh, modeling your structure and you want to offset the add element type asymmetric, or you can now set a beam end offset by each direction here in Mayadas. So if it is necessary to offset, uh, along X, along Y, along Z, or in other direction. So you can just simply done that using this advanced feature now available in the latest release. So again, for SSI or the soil structure interaction, static earth pressure function can now be done to properly simulate the soil pressure acting on the structure. So you can now easily add the, the different static earth pressure that you want to or that is actually acting on your structure based on the actual practice. So you can now modify or add a certain function in order to simulate those reaction of the soil. And lastly, the interoperability with other beam software again, like the Revit 2021. Sorry, the Revit 2021 is now available into Midas Gen software. So for this, the elastic link or the for the graphical result and pushover analysis uh, can now be simulated also. Or you can now view the different graphic output. So for the last part of my discussion, we will now see the improvement made for my DAS design class. So as we all know, as we update our codes and standard, our software must also follow such advancement in the research and studies. That's why uh, the 2017 2.1 of Midas Design Plus updated also some of its code and standard. So it is now conforming to ACI 318-14. So for columns or different elements, so most of these updates are now available in Maedas. So if you are designing SRC or steel reinforced concrete, 
So it is no conformance with the uh, AISC LRFD 10M. So this uh, code or standard is now available into Midas Gen. So aside from actually aside from performing an analysis and design using the Midas Design Plus, as you can see, you can also create the drawings. And these drawings can also be saved in a DWG format. Call a uh, concrete field tube or the CFT is now being implemented on the Midas Design Plus 2019 version 1.1. It is now conforming with the AISC LRFD 10M. So as you can see now on the Midas Design Plus 2019 version 1.1, so if you are doing a retrofitting of local members considering CFRP, you can now also implement that using the 2019 version 1.1 of the software. So it is actually conforming to the ACI and you can actually apply a user-defined uh, properties of the carbon fiber that you will use into your analysis or onto your design. Updates in codes and standards like the AISC LRFD 16 can now be used also on the 2019 version 2.1. And of course, additional connection design like the moment bolted connection as per AISC is now being introduced on the release 2020 version 1.1 of Design Plus. It is also uh, we should also note that the uh, that the if you are using the Midas Design Plus, again you can create the drawings that you can save into a DWG format. And also on this version, the 2022.1, we have the different uh, steel design tools like the calculation of unbrace length of beam bracing. We also have the calculation of actual strength of point bracing and also the design of link stiffener for eye sections and the design or the calculation of beam strength with K brace. So these design tools is very important especially when we are designing those types of braces which we are using uh, into our Midas Gen model because as you all know we can integrate Midas Gen onto Midas Design Plus. Additional modules like the anchor bolt design as per ACI was also introduced on the version 2022.1 so it is now conforming with the ACI 318 14M or 14. So you can check for the spacing, the tensile, the shear strength, and the combined ratio check for post installed or cast in place anchor bolts. And lastly, for 2021, results can now be exported to Excel spreadsheets. So you can now create your own design template if you export the results since it will give you a very detailed results or the detailed formula aside from giving you the detailed formula it will give you the the detailed results or the actual results so you can if you want you can create your own spreadsheet or or design template if you export the such result into the excel spreadsheet format so SRC column module adding the box or the pipe is now also added. It is also conforming now to AISC LRFD 16 or LRFD 10M. And of course, lastly, the we drastically reduce the creation of report from SM or from MS Word format for almost 99%. So as you can see, 
So it is also very important that we have to create uh, such report very, very fast because uh, actually when we when we are doing a project, it is also important after we have performed an analysis, perform a design after the drafting. Of course, we have to create such report. So the reject the ninety nine percent reduction. Uh, in the reporting time is very actually very important especially when we are doing a project so again if you need a more detailed explanation for these releases or the recent releases of Midas and if you want a manual on how to implement this to the Midas software, please do not hesitate to contact us at phinquiry at midasit.com or philippines at midasit.com. So this has been Engineer Mark and thank you.